Hey everybody, Hard Tacticon is back, and I am bringing you the hard to acquire, no he ain't a vampire, Titans Return Grotesque! Let's take a look at him! And here we have the very difficult to get, but I got him, Titans Return Grotesque. And he's a nice figure, but let's do something a little different. But we'll, we'll put him over here so you can still see him. Oh, droolage. And yeah, look, floppers, floppers, floppers. Eh, not everything could be perfect, but let's take a look at this box, okay? In fact, I, I do got to move him. Sorry, guys. Uh, front and back and everything, pretty plain, but you start opening it up. And of course, you can see I did not spend a lot of time opening mine up, so it's a little raggy. But there was some really cool stuff going on inside. So you open it up, and first you get this whole diagram spectrum analysis type of thing. You can see Grotusk, and let's see here, let's get it really far back. And uh, Fingul and Scorponok. And then over here, you got the collector's cards up on this flap. And then you open it further, kind of move that, open it up a little further and it spreads open even more, showing this, hold on, hold on, hold on, this is like some kind of Chinese trap thing, stuff is falling out. <laughs> oh, look at all that, I guess I was not very careful about not doing that. Really, really cool piece of artwork. It's the same on the card, but you know, in big form. And then over here, we have the spot where Grotusk was, and over here we have the spot where Titan's Return Scorponok was. So, um, let's pull out these cards real quick, take a quick look at them. There's one. I actually saved them in here till I could do this review just for you guys. Just for y'all. Because I love y'all. Yes, I do. I love y'all. But let's get this box out of the way. Tall branch, shut up. Yep. So, here is the spec cards. Again, that really cool piece of artwork right there. Kind of a sideways card. And on the back, you get the text packs. And then we have Scorponok here. Headmaster Scorponok. So technically, it should be Zarek, right? I don't know. Continuity just confused me. And on the back, what's wrong, buddy? What? My cat wants my attention. Come here, bunny shifter. She's very old. She's like 16. But yeah, so you got to see that while bunny shifter me out. So there's a box, and here is the best part. What's inside? Grotusk, I almost called him Fingal. And he is a really cool figure. Now, he is just a straight up repaint, heavy remold of his other monster bot buddy right here. I, Twinferno, that's what they're calling him. It, it's a uh, 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 double cross. He, he's normally called double cross, but they're calling him Twinferno. <laughs> that took a little bit of brain power, guys. But yeah, as you can see, it is a very heavy remold. I mean, the only thing that didn't really get remolded was, like, the legs and the guns. But I am smart enough to make them still look different. But let's focus on Grotusk for a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and take a look at that noggin. Pull it right off his freaking body. Look at that noggin. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Maybe a little bit out so you can get a little bit more lightage. Or I'll just adjust. How about that? Now the background's ugly, but now we can see Grotusca's pointed face. And that is a really nice head sculpt. And that is a really nice head sculpt. I mean that's some that's some tiger teeth there. Kind of funny. Yeah, nice head sculpt. Let's readjust this lighting. 
and see if we can get things prettier. Goodbye and hello. Now let's put a noggin back on. I'm just gonna snap it right in there. Look, it's not hard. You just gotta try. Yeah, there's his noggin. He's got some really nice <laughs> uh, maroony, purpley red color that contrasts really well with this little bit of blue right here and this little blue symbol. Got plenty of little bits of some red, including the Autobot symbol, and a little yellow square right there, which you know, I'm not sure if there's any more yellow on them. That might be the only yellow. Yeah, and he's got a different color of that uh, purplish maroonish red right here. I guess it's painted on as opposed to uh, molded. And then he's got a little bit of blue on his shins. And, you know, plenty of white accents and stuff too. Plus he's got his trans clear, transparent plastic um, Titan Master uh, storage, which let's go ahead and pop his head off one more time. Because guess who is hiding in there? The other part of this set. I kind of treat that as like prison form. You know, he's a bad guy. He does lots of naughty naughty things. Lots of naughty naughty things. And here we have what a guy skull up in there. And um, he's pretty cool. He's got some decent paint on him. You'll see later that Fingal actually has more paint on him. Now, the figure itself is just a repaint of the um, Thunder, Thunderwing uh, Headmaster. Tell you what, in fact, give me a second. I will get a comparison of them. And here we are. There is Thunderwing. So let's get both of them right here in hand, see if we can get a little comparison. Right here, right next to each other. Wow, and just, you know, looking at them like this while I'm trying to get them straightened. Um, it's nice how much the paint makes a difference in these guys. I mean, the helmets don't look the same. But yeah, I mean, without having to make a new mold, that's probably the best choice. And then, of course, you can just fold him around. And here we got a Scorponite's head, which I think is a really good headmaster. It really disappoints me we didn't get a Scorponite. Maybe we should have voted for Scorponite. But if we voted for Scorponite, we wouldn't have uh, Trypticon and his awesome Titan Master eating, which is just too cool. So, we'll put him over here on this side, and let's uh, yank his old head off one more time, so I can show you Fingoli. And you know, I don't know if this one is a repaint, remold of another figure or not. I don't remember any other ones having a um, big old saber tooth teeth. So yeah, there we have Fingal, who's got a lot of color on him. A lot of color and detail. That's a lot of detail for that tiny little head knob. I mean, he's got some like tealy colors, grays, yellow for the head, plenty of white. I mean, really cool. Nice little Titan Master. So, I think that is all there is. No, no. Let's do some good comparison shots. We had them. Now, of course, his gun, and I showed you the floppiness there. His gun is the same as um, Double Cross's gun. It's just for Double Cross, I decided to make it slightly different by combining them. And now it looks different. But yeah, here is Double Cross and Grotesque. A little Scorponok over here. And um, here is the third member coming on his weird little sled. Like, I'm here guys, I didn't forget. So let's pop him out of a sled and just stand him next to him, I guess. 
So yeah, there is the monster bots. Yay, we got monster bots. Now, I saw on the TFW boards there is rumors of a actual Doug Lux class Repugnus coming out, which would be cool. But I am a little disappointed they're only coming out as Deluxe. I really feel like these guys should be Voyagers, but that's not how it went. Be glad for what we have. Stay positive. Rainbows. So, let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. So we can see his cool monster mode. I'm going to start off by taking out his guns. Which, there's some cool tricks with the guns, too. But, of course, let's, uh, we'll start with the head here by plucking it off. And then, I'm going to move this little jaw piece down, I'm sorry. Move this little jaw piece down and kind of lift it up. And then we're going to take this part in the back of the head and it plugs in right there behind the wings. So, we're going to pull it out and up and then like that I'm sorry keep going off camera do it like that from there you can just pull this jaw piece further back hold his little coffin piece down to me it looks like a coffin piece like on um, mind wipe and uh, these are going to tab together there we go and now he's a different kind of monster bot so he's kind of got a monster mode for his robot mode. That's cool. But we're going to keep on going. Yeah. His hands are really simple. Just his arms are really simple. Just flip the hands in. Flip this claw out. And then make him turn all the way up. And then 360 it. There you go. You got a monster claw. So again, flick his hand inside. Right in there pull his claw up, make his arm go all the way up, and then turn it down. And from there, just raise it up at the elbow. Uh, just so you know, these are kind of easy to pop off, so be careful if you do get one. So he's still looking pretty good as like a monster man, with his wings and such. Alright, now for the most difficult part, which no, it's not really difficult, it's just the most difficult part. And I'm trying to do it without you. So grab his foot and pull it around like that, making his monster legs. And then you just want to start bending him up at the knee as you do. Pull the tail out and the foot piece out. What's going on here? Mine's stuck up. Oh, there we go. And just kind of get things out of the way. And then fold. And fold. And you know, to this day, I'm not exactly 100% sure how this is supposed to go. But you're supposed to kind of turn them up a little. Go ahead and connect in the middle right there. Get them connected with the tail. Thankfully, I've seen a lot of people have a tail that won't fully close. Mine does, so I'm glad about that. But yeah, kind of turn them up a little like this. Move little monster arms out of the way for now. Just came undone. Oh, jeez. It stays together once you got things settled, but you kind of have to get settled first. You know, this was working just the other day. Other day being, oh, day before yesterday, actually. But the camera's on, and anybody who's ever done a Transformer review know how this, this works. There we go. I didn't have the leg all the way inside the tailpiece. Well, that's what the problem was. But yeah, then we just flip the legs around, straighten out the foot. Flip the leg around, straighten out the foot, bring it down, and, jeez, this is 
try and get this in place now. There we go. And we are pretty much never going to finish. Okay, we're almost there. I just got to kind of straighten things out, get things going. Yeah, I know they're supposed to connect somewhere around here. Same thing with double cross. But, you know, mine will not connect in any form or way on either of the figures. I know I don't have two screwy figures, so I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so I just do my best. There we go. And there we have Grotesque and Monster Mode. Kind of all weird and everything's coming apart again. Oh, Fury, Fury, Fury. Okay. There we go. So now we have Grotesque going. There he is. And here we have his guns. And Scorponok over there. And Fingal will put right next to him. See, now I don't want to pick him up and show you what's going on with him. Alright, so. Here's a good look at that beautiful, grotesque face. And it's looking really cool. I think he's supposed to be some kind of gargoyle. A little bit of extra light never hurt. Then he's got the weird claws. I kind of wish there was something to be like a thumb. Because it definitely needs a thumb. But yeah, there's his claws. There he is flying. He's got the same wings as Double Cross. And he does have a nice Autobot symbol on him. So that's pretty cool. But bottom wise, he just kind of stands like Double Cross does. He's got his tail on the ground. That's nice. Further stabilization. His claws flipped up. Now for weapon storage on him, there's two things you can do. First one is kind of like the normal one. Put the two pieces together. Just like this. And then you just take your tusk and see he's got these little slots in right there. There's those pegs. Just plug it in. Mine's kind of tight, but that's cool because once it's in there, it's in there. So yeah, now he's got some cool guns on his back, which means Fingal now has a place to go. So let's get him in kind of a sitting pose hands up like he's controlling and he's got the pegs right there and just kind of push them in there the only bad thing is <laughs> he's got to have some really good ab muscles because otherwise he's going to fall out but I guess if Grotusk is flying like this that just works out perfectly oh um real quick Super cool, because all beast monster transformers should have it. His mouth does open really wide. See? And closes fully. So very cool. I kind of like a slightly open position. Forgot to tell you about that. So yeah. In addition, he can also hold another Titan Master. We're going to take Scorponok here. Just take these little pegs right here, or whatever you want to call them, open them up. And he's got that nice little crawl space in there. And we just take Scorponok, put him in a sitting pose. Oh, and by the way, Scorponok, he's got a lot of die cast on him, like the head and the, the torso is die cast. Everything else is uh, plastic. Standard Titans Return plastic. But yeah, 
Just kind of slide them right in there. And uh, plug them, or peg them from the bottom. And there he is sitting inside of a grotesque as the prisoner. Not fully sure why they chose Scorponok to be with them. But, um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, on to get the rest of our monster bots. Let's see who we got here. We have Double Cross, aka also known as Twin Fire or something, Twin Inferno, and we have Little Epignas, who might later become a Powers of the Prime figure, which would be neat because that means we would have two monster bots who are Titan Masters and one monster bot who is Combiner. But, you know, even if they were all three combiners, they still couldn't really combine them much. So, yeah. Looking pretty good as a team. And if it turns out we don't get a deluxe size Repugnus, this is better than nothing, guys. I think only one company has made any third-party monster bots. And they are leaders, uh, leader, masterpiece size. So, like... They're really tall. They're really tall. Like, way back here. Yeah, they're taller than that. Woo. So, yeah, just from what I've seen on camera. So, I mean, really, they could be even smaller or bigger. Who knows? But, yeah, there is the Monster Bots. There is Grot Tusk with his coolness. Just real quick, let's see what is different about them. Now, as you can see, this... Okay, that came off. That came off. As you can see, I grabbed it by the wrong part. Shut up. This whole area from the waist down is the same. Came apart again. I thought I'd said to the viewer that your tail doesn't come apart. You're embarrassing me. But yeah, same parts, just painted differently. Wait. No, no. I was thinking that maybe there was some remolding because that was going on. Now pretty much everything except... Oh god, goodness. Everything except for what I just showed you, the weapons and the wings, are different pieces. Oh, and, and this door. That's the same. And then we got Repugnus to break things up. So, that is the Monster Bots. And this is Titan's Return, re not Repugnus, Grotusk. And I am Hard Tecticon, and I will see y'all next time.